Okay. You're live. Hi. I'm live and I hope I have sound now. Wave. I'm waving. Hi, guys. <laughs> okay, so now I would like to reconnect Jessica. Do I go yeah, got it. down there? Okay, three requests. There, there she is. is. Okay, send request. Hi. Oh, Jessica. <laughs> Hi. Hi. <laughs> my first, my my first Instagram live, and it's not going so well. Oh, that is with you. But is uh, is it working? Can you hear me now? I hear you now, and your picture's clearer. This is Instagram. You did nothing wrong. Okay, great. Okay, good. <laughs> I feel better. It's how it goes. Is not, my, is not always my forte or friend. Um, it's normal. Finds on purpose. People okay. expect messy. Okay, good. Um, so, okay, so here's the question that I thought was interesting. What is, what's this signature matching thing that I'm hearing about? There's a, what is all of that about? That sounds quite um, convoluted. What is that? Yeah. So the mail-in, it applies only to mail-in ballots. And what they do is in 31 or more states, um, officials will look at where, how you signed either your envelope or your ballot itself, whatever it asks for. And they'll compare that to the signature they have on file for you. It's okay. to avoid, you know, voter fraud. One thing is like, if you're be, don't be sloppy when you're signing it, kind of use your standard signature, whatever you may have used to sign official documents so that it matches. Yeah. I, I'll add one thing, which is in states, you can track your ballot. You can go and sign up to track your ballot. And many states will let you know if they've thrown it out because the signature doesn't match and they'll let you come in and fix it. So I know it's a lot, but this year it is worth signing up to track your ballot. You can do that with your County Board of Elections or you can go to our website and we have a voter resources page there to let you know how to do that. At some point you're gonna to have to talk about how do we make it easier to vote in this country because it seems the same to me. Couldn't uh, agree more. Um, okay, at Sharon Will 077 asks, can you vote if you're an American citizen, but living overseas? Yes, excellent question. And I got you a very specific answer. So there is a website called fvap.gov, Federal Voting Assistance Program, fvap.gov. It gives you all the information and um, overseas and military voters can actually fax in their ballot, which sounds pretty cool. Yeah. Uh, so they give you all the information about how to do that. It might vary by state, but that's a great place. And, and on my account, people are constantly sending me videos of themselves overseas faxing their ballot back to the US. So great. make your voice heard, yeah. Um, at Gabe Cisnero says, I probably spelled my name. Uh, <laughs> how can I, I'm sorry, I hope I didn't butcher that name, sorry. How can I be sure my ballot was counted, which is something I think a lot of people are worried about. A lot of people are worried. And the way to do that is to track your ballot. You can go to your county board of elections and Google that with your city or state. Or on our, if you want to shortcut it, on the News Not Noise website, we have a voter resources page that says track my ballot. The thing is, every state has a different system, a different way to sign up. You know, we're such a patchwork. So I can't give you one answer for everybody, but I can point you to the resource where you can look up your answer. Um, like in California, they'll text you as your ballot's going through the process. In Florida, you have to actively go to a website and look. In Connecticut, they don't give you any info. So we gotta make this easier and simpler, I agree. For now- Yeah, just... we certainly do. Yeah. Okay, this is a very interesting question from at V Victoria, uh, can learn Ken. Can you change your vote? So they're asking this question because the president tweeted about this. And the uh, president tweeted saying that people, like changing your vote is trending and they're all changing it to vote for me is what he tweeted. <laughs> so here's the real. Um, in seven states, like super technically, in theory, if you mail your ballot and it doesn't get processed, you can go back and retrieve it. Honestly, Orlando, this is not a thing. Like, no. it's not a thing. It's hard enough to get people to vote once. No one is redoing their vote. No. Do not count on that. Make your decision, vote once, make sure it's done right. Let's move, right. You know, move on. That's, that's right, but it's a good question. 
That is a great uh, question. Okay, and people keep saying, as we know, that we might not know who won on election night. And it would just be nice to clarify that for people watching at home. That's because we're ha we have so many mail-in ballots because of COVID and right. early votes. And it, A, takes a heck of a long time to count what could be like 80 million mail-in votes or early votes. And some states won't even allow their officials to start counting until November 3rd. So they right. have warehouses full of ballots that haven't been processed. So we're going to, in some states, get the day of totals, like who voted today, how, and then have to wait for the mail-in ballots. Right. And if the election is close, you can imagine a scenario where the whole country is on tenterhooks waiting to see what those mail-in ballots say as states are processing them. It's got the potential for being a mess. But I'll tell you this, Florida... Ohio, Arizona, count all the votes early. And so I'll be watching those battleground states to see how they go and they'll tell us if we're gonna have an early night. That's amazing, that's, that's, good. that's good information. Okay, at cheers underscore Chloe, if you've already voted, how can you make, this is a good question, if you've already voted, how can you make the biggest impact this week? I think I love that. I love that, yeah. Great question. One is you can be a poll worker. There is an Instagram account, Power the Polls. Contact them, see if they need people to sign up. Two, right. this is really important. Ask your friends if they have a voting plan and if they need help. Share your voter cheat sheet. Show them how you voted so they can make a decision based on that if that's comfortable for you. Just help them vote. Help and friends. three is if you're an employer, give your employees time off to vote. Or if you're an employee, ask your boss if the boss will give everybody time off to vote. All those things make a difference. Excellent. Well, Jessica, I as I'm, I am, as I've said, I'm a huge fan of yours. You're so sweet. So thank much. You. I really am. I really am. As 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 um, uh, thank you so much on behalf of everybody who's been watching and fans who posted questions. Thank you for your questions. This is my first live, and I'm glad I got to uh, pop my cherry with you. <laughs> I'm so honored. <laughs> and uh, I love her. And I, uh, and I hope we get to do it again. And I hope, um, and, I, and I, yeah, thank you so much for all the great work you're doing out there, Jessica. It's thank really you for great. lending your platform to this. I really appreciate it. Bless you. Have Bless a great you. day. Thank you, you everybody too. out there. Bye. Bye. Bye.